Hey everyone, and welcome to Pico Tutorials. Uh, today I wanted to go over how to export video. Um, obviously that's the main feature of a VMS. We wanna be able to export that video and share it with others. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, obviously I need to pick a camera that, I am, uh, that, that I'm looking at, right? So like we talked about in the, in the user, face, uh, user interface video, this is kind of the, the view panel to look at your recorded video or your timeline. It starts pretty zoomed out, but as you scroll up, you will get more and more granular on your timeline and eventually getting to the area that, that you want um, to research. And then once you finally decide on the video that you want, you would go ahead and you could either right click on this timeline and do a mark selection and then right click again over here for mark end and that'll automatically highlight this area. Or I can simply just drag and highlight a little area that I want. Once I have that area marked that I, that I want to export, I simply right click on it and I select export video. Now from here, I have a handful of options, right? Option one is what folder I want to save that media. Number two is the name. Now it's gonna default to the camera name and the time, date and time. Uh, and then I have a container, so I can choose MKV, AVI, MP4, which are all very common containers for media. If I select NOV, that is Pico specific, so say you wanted to share it with somebody and only allow them to view it on Pico, you would choose that file format. Or you can export as an EXE, which will actually have the player built into it. So in the event you're, you're concerned that somebody may not have the, the appropriate player to view that video, you can select as EXE. Along with exporting the video, you have a handful of options here. You can actually add a timestamp to the video. You can choose what format that's going to be, short, uh, short format or long format of the date. You can also move the date around. So sometimes, you know, when you're exporting video and maybe it's covering something, right? It's, it's an area that you were actually hoping to see on the video and that timestamp happens to be right on top of it. You would actually be able to move this timestamp wherever, wherever you choose to. You can also change the size of the font. We won't worry about that today. Next is you can add an image. Um, now it kind of defaults to the Pico logo, uh, rather large. But um, we can actually, again, we can take this and we can move this around as kind of that, that semi watermark. We can also mess with the opacity of that image. You can also browse and you can choose any image you choose to. So say you have a situation where, you know, maybe there was an event and there was a suspect or, or some situation and you had a mugshot of that person, you could actually upload that, that, that picture, that photo, have that photo along with the video kind of in, in one nice little package. You can also add text. So, um, you know, for me, I'll just say this is this is a test, right? But you can type in whatever you want. Again, you can mess with the font size and you can move this wherever wherever you choose to. And then last and certainly not least is rapid view. Uh, say you have a really long clip, say it's 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes even, um, and you don't want whoever you're sharing this with to have to suffer through watching a, a 10 or 15 minute video, you can actually use rapid view and speed that up or rapid review, excuse me, and you can change it to a one minute clip or a two minute clip and it'll automatically speed that video up. Now, while they're viewing it, they can slow it down and, and, and choose as they choose, but it'll just, uh, it'll quicken the view of that video. And then once I click export, it'll download from, from the server and then it'll make it readily viewable for you. So I, uh, I downloaded one a little bit earlier and I wanted to show you another cool feature that's built into Pico. So under local files, any, any video that you download will automatically show up in, the, in your local files folder. If I drag and drop this over here, this is a, a, a random video that I pulled from this morning and it's showing me recorded footage, everything's great. I, I see the time mark and everything, but a lot of times we get the question, well, how do we know this video hasn't been modified um, from when I exported it from my server, right? So we export the video and all of a sudden, um, you know, we need to know if, if something has been altered on the video, right? Well, Pico has a built-in, essentially a, a digital watermark or a file watermark checker. So you can actually right click right here in the middle and you can sec select check file watermark and it'll actually analyze the video and tell you 
if that video has been modified or not. Even if somebody were to make a incredibly small modification to the file, the checksum has been altered and changed and Pico will actually show you a result of an unmatch or a big red, um, which is obviously bad, it means um, something's been modified. So this is a really cool feature, uh, you know, mess around with it. We'd love to hear you guys' feedback on that. Uh, last but certainly not least, in the event you want to export, let's say four video clips all at the same time. Uh, let me zoom in real quick here. I'll pick a random time. So say I want to export all four of these cameras together. I can go into multi-video and it'll export all four of these video clips together. Um, so instead of you having to export each clip one by one, you're able to export them all at the same time. With this, with this having all four images in the same, it will only export in the NOV or the EXE format. So you'll either have to be sending it to somebody who already has the Pico client, or you'll, you would have to export it as EXE. That way the player's built into it. So whoever you're sending it to um, does have the uh, ability to watch it. And then last but not least, you can obviously um, select uh, protect with password. So that way nobody can view that video unless they have the password to see it. So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching Pico Tutorials. If you'd like to watch more how-to videos around Pico, please click here for our tutorials channel. Or you can visit us at picovms.com for more documentation and downloads.